Hello everyone, welcome back. In today's video, we're going to talk about learning German. I have been receiving this question repeatedly because recently I have been posting a lot about learning German on Instagram. So I have set this goal, I'm studying for German C1 exam and that's why I'm taking it that much serious. So guys, we're always asking how to learn German, which resources you would recommend to start learning German. Des voilettes, mes secrets, mais en fait, en anglais, c'est revolé. I'm going to reveal all my secrets, not des voilettes. Okay, okay. So in this video, I'm going to reveal all my secrets regarding German language. I have been learning it since two and a half years and I will talk about all the resources that I have been using since that time. German is a notoriously difficult language. The saying goes like, das Leben ist zu kurz zum Deutsch lernen, which is literally translated like, the life is too short to learn German. The social media is full of stereotypes. People are always going to say that German is literally impossible to learn because it has tricky grammar rules, it has crazy vocabulary, as you may realize. I don't know how you're thinking about this, but my mindset works like if someone has ever achieved something, I can do the same because we are same in the principle. But it depends on how much you are dedicated to do a specific thing. And that's why you should be really motivated to learn German if you want to overcome all these difficulties. German has a really different sentence structure and a grammatical system and the pronunciation is kind of unique, let's say. For example, if you are not a native speaker, you may encounter difficulties pronouncing Überraschung because of that Ü or Österreich because of that Ö, Suchen, that H sound. That's not worse than Dutch. And also, while you are memorizing German words, you will have to memorize something additional, which are articles, der, die, das. Those are completely random. They also have some different forms in accusative, dative and gative. For example, der becomes den and dem. Ein, eine, einen, einer, einem, eines. Like, we have a lot of things. Or for example, you may have heard the crazy German words like Krankenschwester. Recently, I was reading something and the word Wirtschaftswissenschaftler just I stumbled upon this word and I wasn't like what's that? Wirtschaftswissenschaftler that really makes sense because that's actually a Wirtschaftswissenschaftler. I have learned German in a completely organized and systematical way, so I never had to memorize this kind of things despite the German grammar being really tricky. So that's why in this video I'm going to give you some practical tips to help you learn German and to overcome these stereotypes. Because I want no one to give up on learning German just because of things that they see on the internet. My main resource from which I learned the German language up to B1 level is Nico Zwick. So basically this series tells the life of Nico. Nico is a Spanish guy and he doesn't want to live in Spain. He wants to go to Germany to live with his aunt and he goes to Germany. But at the airport Nico loses his bag and everything inside it. So he has to ask for help from other German people and gradually he starts uh, living with random German people and becoming friends with them and the story goes like that. It has three levels, A1, A2 and B1 and it's divided into many episodes so each one of them are like two or three minutes and they have exercises, they have vocabulary pages, they have the transcripts so you can read and write them. Personally, it took me seven months to finish all the three levels and I learned German till the end of B1 level. That was my main German notebook. It has everything related to Nico's work inside. There are grammatical explanations. Sometimes there are transcripts because as I talked about in my vocabulary learning video, I prefer uh, saving the vocabulary with sentences. The vocabulary from the series, they have the lists ready. So I just wrote them to my vocabulary notebook, but that's just the words. There are no definition or examples. Phrase notebook, basically I'm writing phrases from the series and then I just highlight them and write the meaning. This was the one that helped me the most, so instead of doing this vocabulary notebook, I can recommend doing a phrase notebook. That's just an option that I'm proposing. You can also prefer learning German at a course that you're attending, or at your school, or from any other language application, or you may also follow the content of a YouTube account. Many people are asking how I proceeded after completing B1 on Nico's leg, so that's why in this video I'm going to talk about Lingoda. It's an online language learning platform from which you can learn German, Spanish, French, English and Business English. So what I appreciate the most at this platform is that you can learn all these things from the comfort of your home with experienced teachers from all around the world. I have been using this platform since a really long time and recently I have completed my B2.2 course and I will start studying B2.3. So what I like is that they offer a lot of things about everyday situations as well as specific terminology for things like history, environment or literature. The reason why I don't prefer a traditional language course is that 
there are always the same teachers, same students, same place, but it's so boring for me and I don't like learning languages and environment like that. But on Lingoda, for every class that you book at the time that you want, they assign a different teacher with a different class. In most of my classes, we weren't more than three students, which means that you always had to be speaking. Before attending the class, you can download the PDF presentations on the website to prepare for the class because personally I'm studying B2 and there are a lot of creative questions that will open a discussion in the class so you also have to create some arguments, think about what you're talking, you also have to always use a new vocabulary and at the end the teacher gives you a feedback. Recently all teachers are saying me that I'm really good at using specific terminology when I speak and whenever I learn a new vocabulary I just start using it at sentence and I really like that feedback. If you also want to try Lingoda and take your German to the next level, you can use my code and get a 7 days of trial where you can freely attend 3 small group classes. That's completely for free, you can try it out and at the end, if you'd like to continue learning German on Lingoda, you will get a 30% of discount. So I think you should give it a try. You can also check the description of this video for everything related to Lingoda if you have any other questions. Right now I want to continue talking about YouTube channels and podcasts. You guys may know that YouTube channels are generally my favorite language learning materials, but for German, since I have Lingo and Ninkozweg, I don't spend a lot of time on YouTube to learn German. Of course, to practice German, there are several things that I'm watching, but to learn German, there are only a few channels that I follow, and I will include all of them in the description, because if in this video I'm going to talk about every single person saying like, he teaches about that, he talks about that, that can be really long and boring. That's why. I will only be sharing some tips to use uh, YouTube channels and podcasts and I will include them in the description of this video so you can check that. My favorite German YouTube channel is Easy German because they make interviews on the street with German people so they ask them different questions about everything you can imagine and people reply to these questions in their native language. The thing that I appreciate the most at this channel is probably the way that people react when they receive the question, the way they start answering the question or the filler words that they are using, like those things actually show the real way that a German person speaks so you get to adapt all these things to your own speech and by doing that you will sound more natural in German language. I also follow other Easy Languages channels and especially Easy German is probably one of my favorites. You may want to check their playlists because they have playlists separated for the levels. So you may start from A1 playlist or if your level is B1 you may watch their B1 playlist where they make interviews in that level let's say. So it will be easy for you to understand. Have I watched their videos is that whenever it comes up a word that I don't know, I just stop the video and write the whole sentence to my notebook. I used to do that, but right now I switched to Notion because while studying German, I have a lot of things to write and that can be really exhausting. And after some point, I stopped studying German because it's really tiring to write every single thing. So I switched to Notion and recently I have also keeping all my vocabulary there. And I think that worked. That's why soon I'm planning to talk about how I study German on Notion, okay? Since I like learning words in the context, that's what I'm always doing, like writing some random phrases and highlighting the words and adding the meanings. And then I always remember how to correctly use that word. And as a second recommendation, I will ask you to create a separate German YouTube account where you will subscribe only to German speaking channels. And as I said, I will leave a list in the description of this video, including many German channels that you can watch to learn German or to practice German. Some people are also asking how I improved my German speaking. So basically, when I was learning German back then in 2021, Clubhouse was really popular. And every other day in lockdown, I was really bored. I was attending German conversation rooms and I was speaking with people for hours. And that's how I actually started speaking German. And after that, I had German friends and I started speaking with them. For example, you can use Tandem. It's probably the one that I use the most because you can find native speakers for all the languages that you want. And also there's HelloTalk, there is Conversation Exchange at the website. While speaking with native speakers, don't forget to always use the new words and expressions that you have learned. And if you don't have friends to talk with, that's no problem, we are all alone sometimes. You can talk to yourself. For example, if you learned about global warming, just write the keywords about global warming or write the phrases about global warming that 
were in that lesson and highlight the verse and just start making a speech about global warming to yourself. Repeat that many times and each time you are doing that, try to fix your pronunciation, try to add new words and expressions, try to make your sentences even longer or add some new points to your speech. For example, in my French exam, they asked me many different questions from a wide range of topics. So you gotta be prepared for every other situation. And that's why I could recommend you uh, getting prepared from official resources like from German exam questions. If you want to create yourself a plan to learn German, please check all the links in the description because I wrote many type of resources there. For example, someday you can study from Nikoslek, some days you can just take a conversation class on Lingoda, some days you can read an article from Deutsch Perfect, and some days you can just listen to German music. So you are completely free organizing what you want and it depends on your personal schedule, okay? Please be regular while studying German because if you stop studying German for a while, then you will have the feeling that you start forgetting some things, even if that's not real, your brain thinks like that. So you better study German regularly, but don't be really hard on yourself. If you study German so seriously, you will become overwhelmed at the end and you will start perceiving German as a real difficult language and that's bad for you. So you should also spend some time for immersion, for your hobbies, but make all of them in some ways related to German so that it will help you learning, okay? That was all for this video. Please check the links in the description so you can use those materials while learning German language. And also please subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Instagram. And you may follow my tips about language learning in general. See you in the next video and good luck.